Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Netflix Podcast, episode 40. Fucking off of the fingers right Nine. 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 Yeah, 49. Nine. Nine. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, <laughs> I am your host, Drew Campbell. The other fat guy is Evan Shishella. We're, we're still recording this? You just got us canceled. I didn't do anything, dude. I just waved at the crowd. No, you I, stopped my, I stopped myself, all right? I stopped <laughs> myself. All right. Whatever, dude. Satire. Come on, people. Jokes. Satire. Fucking We're on you now? Yeah, I mean, dude, like the, most of this podcast has been satire. Most of my humor is satire. Yeah. It's satire and hyperbole. Social which, commentary. Yeah, it's a lot of hyperbole, too, which is unfortunate because most people uh, don't even know how to pronounce that word, let alone what it means. Most hyperbole. People are, most people are like, hyperbole? What the fuck is this about? <laughs> Sounds like a shape. Hyperbole, dude. Hyperbole. Oh, yeah, have we fucking... Um, Parabola. Brian Reagan has a really good uh, stand-up special called The Epitome of Hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> Which is such a great name for a comedy special. I, I love even Brian ag- Regan. Oh, dude, he's a go. He's fucking so great. If you don't like uh, Brian Regan, you're just dead inside and don't like humor whatsoever. Like, you can't even be offended with Brian Regan. Like, he's technically clean. No, he is clean. I saw him last year. He came to East Lansing. I, on one of his specials, he does say asshole. Yeah. Just throwing that out. He does say <laughs> asshole in one of his specials. But I would still say, yeah, technically clean. Yeah, you did the COVID special on Netflix. It's at uh, Red Rocks in Colorado. Oh, no shit. Recorded. I don't think I ever saw that. I didn't even know that happened. Fuck me. His best is Walk on the Moon, though. That one, I think you can watch that on YouTube. That one's amazing. Yeah. That's so fucking I, good. He brings I the like giggles his, for days. This bit about Little League. Like, I played right field. Yeah. Because well, I stunk. Yeah. <laughs> is Little League was, I mean, he's the most infamous. No cones or something? The Pop-Tart bit is the most infamous yeah. about cooking a Pop-Tart. Oh, fuck. It's so goddamn funny. It's so dumb, <laughs> but like I don't know how you could not laugh at that. And that's coming from me, you know? Fucking edgiest dude out there. Do you all know how you are, to do? This is the second time you're wearing sunglasses and the vest. This is, uh, this is forever on the podcast now. I told you, dude. It's about branding. <laughs> so I'm branding now. Big J. Okerson has his fingerless gloves. I have the fucking <laughs> vests and sunglasses. It's about branding. <laughs> Next week, you're just going to have a full beard and like spiked hair. And you're just, I'm like, not doing that. No, 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 I'm still <laughs> myself. It's it's a band tee, the vest, black shirt, er, and uh, sunglasses. This is me now. This is my branding for the podcast. Because also, I think like if you look at me and then I say something, like, I don't think you'd be like, if I dress like this and look like this, you're not going to be surprised about what I have to say. Yeah, I agree. So it's like you're kind of already said, like, if you look at me and just go, fuck that guy, then you're not going to, you know what I mean? But like, if you're like, oh, I'm willing to hear what that guy has to say, you're probably not going to be offended by anything I have to say. Like, I think you know yeah. what you're getting into if you look at me like this. Yeah, you're wearing but, sunglasses indoors and you're not bottles. Therefore, you're up to something. Dude, something I hate suspicious. You realize other people have worn sunglasses besides Bono, people who do cocaine. They always wear sunglasses indoors. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I'm doing cocaine, but I'm also not saying I'm not doing cocaine. <laughs> There's just like a line behind you. There's just white powder. Yeah, it's just like I start bleeding out the nose. I'm like, oh, dude, I've just yeah. had allergies like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, room temp isn't good. <laughs> shout out to last episode when I was bleeding out of orifice. It was my nose from all the coke I've been doing, bro. I, that's not the right mood. Cocaine addicts don't say, bro, they're just fucking, give me all your money. Like, so I Fun fact about I've never done coke. Good. That's not a brag. You shouldn't do coke. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't do it. Congrats. Yeah, I mean, you know, I went to college. There's a temptation. You know, kids are doing coke. I don't, and- I don't really think it's much of a college drug. It's more of an adult drug. Yeah, it wasn't college, though. People were doing it. They were? I don't know. I didn't go to college. I didn't know people doing <laughs> cocaine. I think I told you the first time I did cocaine, I was working at a pizza place and it was given to me by my boss. <laughs> which yeah, he is, told you know, me that recently, I think. Yeah, that's a why. Oh, he was a former prisoner, so. Uh, no, no surprise there, right? His name was Will. 
His name was Will. I maybe I shouldn't be talking about all this, but Will. <laughs> Uh, his last name is his telephone number. I don't know his last name. I have no idea. Oh. Will Will was just, Will was one of the funniest people I've ever met though in my entire life. Will the pizza guy. <laughs> Will had a bunch of shitty fucking prison tattoos all over him, and uh, he came from Florida. Which he said the reason he came from Florida was because he got out of prison and he did less time because he was doing drug deals down there and working with the cartel or someone involved with the cartel and he sold right. them out. So he got less time. So he had to fucking leave the state. Otherwise, he was going to get killed. That's the story he told me, at least. We don't know. We, I have no way of fact checking him. But I mean, <laughs> apparently he got a bunch of wild shit down there. Like he told me once he like he got hired to be a, a cameraman for a porn. And then he got there and the whole porn was just a putting a tube in a dude's ass and have a gerbil crawl up it. That's, that's like cr- that, that's it, the, my, that might that's, be the cringiest thing I've heard on this podcast. That's bananas, but I would have done that for free just for the fucking story. <laughs> like, I would just be there. I'd be like, dude, I'll pay you $5 if I can watch a gerbil crawl up your ass. That's worth $5. I've been five dollars to be at a county fair. There was no, there might have been guys, <laughs> guys swallowing swords. There's no guys swallowing <laughs> gerbils in his ass, you know. Like, that's a hell of a sight to see. But dude, no fucking this ballad of Will, dude. The Will just shows up at the job one day. It's like probably like a week after I started. I'm, I have to be like nineteen, right? Will shows up. And, like, the dude's just killing it at the job. It's not a hard job to do, but immediately, like, just comes in. He's just putting, like, so much effort in. Like, so there's, yeah. like, this tip jar where the pizza place we worked at. So, like, when people checked out, there'd be a tip jar. And, you know, like, at the end of the night, there might be anywhere. That might be, like, 40 bucks. You know, that's a good night. I mean, 40 bucks for the tip because people don't really tip on takeout, blah, blah, blah. But there's still the jar, right? So, Will was so over-the-top nice. It's probably because he was on cocaine. Now, looking back, like, <laughs> the energy was... But he would like literally like if he saw someone coming in, he would run to the front door, hold open the door for him and greet them at the door and then run in and like, how day? How's your day? Go, oh, it's fantastic. You do all the shit. He'd like open the door for him as they left. Like, dude, it's just like over the top. Like he would call women beautiful, but like somehow was not in a creepy way, even with his prison tattoos. He'd like be complimenting everybody. He'd just tell a guy how nice his shoes were. Or just like, you you seem really smart. Are you a smart guy? Like, just real yeah. big, like, char- dude, I mean, like, charming beyond belief. That one night in the fucking tip jar, this is like unheard of, apparently. It's like, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Dude, Will cleared $250 in a tip jar. <laughs> like, that's awesome. I think it was he's opening a fucking door. Dude, I've never seen that. Like, he was just. Like, and you had like the little fucking slab you had to open to get from the registers. So he'd see someone and you'd see him like drop down on all twos. He'd throw that fucking thing and just bolt to the door to open <laughs> it before they got there. It was, it was insane. Guy was awesome. And he was just funny. He was just always, I, he always called me a pedophile. It was hilarious. <laughs> I think that that's worthy of being employee of the month. He can grab oh, all that money in one night. They made a manager like that. <laughs> I became manager slowly after him, but like, yeah, no, they literally made him a manager in like no time because it was just unheard of, of like the level. Like, he got $250 off a tip jar at a place that never got anything for tip jars for as long as it was open. And like, I was fucking nice to people, but I was fucking running up and grabbing Run doors. The and door, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. That's an insane person. Like, I wouldn't, which is crazy that people tipped on that because if I was at a, if I went into a business, someone did that for me, I'd be, I'd feel, I'd leave. I wouldn't even go in the business. I'd be, oh, I was going next door. <laughs> That's way too much. That's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I had so many, that was, it was such a shitty place to work at. And I gave such, it was crazy that I became a manager shortly after that too. I think it was <laughs> just, be, I think it's just because you deal with so many, there's so many people that are dumb there that I would go in high every day. I didn't care. I was still doing comedy. So it was just like, this was just like something I needed Way to, to make do. money. Yeah. Just make a, it was literally just make money for gas pretty much yeah, at the gas time with gas money because <laughs> you know you spend a fucking arm and a leg. And they made me a manager like almost like shortly after <laughs> that, too. And the fucking, I just remember this one time I'm working with Will, it's just me and him working. And I have this lady on the phone, and she's like, uh, she's like, uh, all right, well, like, uh, what's the difference between uh, a large round and a large deep dish? And I go, oh, well, once. <laughs> One's a large round uh, and the other's uh, a large deep dish. And she goes, oh, well, let me think about that for a second. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I'm like, I'm like all right, it's fine. Once I want to put you on hold. So I put her on hold and I set the phone down. I turned to Will and I go, Will, you never believe what this stupid bitch just asked me. She asked me, what's the difference between the large round and the large deep dish? And I just told her the names again. We're like fucking laughing. Not that funny in hindsight, but we're just laughing our ass off. 
So I pick back up the phone to get on it. And I go, oh, all right, sorry, can I help you again? She goes, yeah, I heard everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fucking put it at all. I just set it down. She heard me yell, call her stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did she continue with her order or did she hate up? Dude, I literally was like, oh, like I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh. And she went, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna go somewhere else. And I was like, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> and then she hung up, and I'm like, to me, I'm like, whoo, that could have been way worse. She could have wanted to bump that up. And I was like nervous the next day. I'm like, oh, that, she's gonna tell someone I'm gonna get fired. I wasn't even that nervous. I was like, it will be a good story if I get mm. fired for this reason. It'll be a good story for a podcast I do six years from now. <laughs> Dude, fucking lady. That was the first time I did cocaine though, was with Will. I was, remember I was working with I can't say the name of the business. I was working with him. We were making dough in the morning, right? Fucking just morning dough. Making the dough, dude. Like, and I didn't even know this was who he was. I mean, in hindsight, I probably should have known this, but I didn't even know this who he was. <laughs> so, actually, this is even the first time I did cocaine. It was the first time I was offered cocaine, I should say. So, he goes to the bathroom. He comes out of the bathroom. We'll make a dough again. He goes, hey, Drew, go to the bathroom. I left a little present for you. So I'm like, I have no idea what this fucking means, right? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I thought maybe it's a joke, like he just shit and didn't flush it, you know? Like, yeah. I was like, oh, that'll be hilarious, right? So I go in there, and on the back of the toilet is a line of cocaine just sitting there waiting for me. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. Like, I'm like 19. I'm like, I've never done this shit. This is freaking freaky. I'm going to start now. So um, I fucking just, instead of actually doing it, I just threw it off the top of the toilet and then i was like all right just act amped like i think that's what you're supposed mm-hmm. to do so i just yeah. kick i i didn't know like and also now I, I i ended up doing cocaine after that i haven't done it recently but i had done cocaine in my life so now i know like i totally overreacted or overacted so i didn't know like i just assumed it was like fucking to the end so instead of like just coming out normal or just acting a little broke, i kicked open the fucking door of the bathroom and went Woo! that was fucking awesome like <laughs> It's in your pocket. <laughs> and then I had him play metal and just headbang like crazy. I'm like, he's got to believe I'm on cocaine. Otherwise, he's going to think I'm a narc. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was my boss. That was legit my boss. And then I ended up doing cocaine with him at his place, like, uh, I don't know, like a month later for the first time. Not as uh, glamorous. I can't but, believe, like, you guys were just doing coke, making dough in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time I saw cocaine. It was the first time I was offered by guy. I was, just, I was too scared. It's like, <laughs> Just pretend yeah, but especially if it's on the back of a toilet. I don't think that's the best surface to do cocaine off. That's where I think that's where most cocaine's done statistically. Yeah. <laughs> like in the night, especially in the 80s, like people are into like the nightclubs and everyone was doing cocaine in the 80s. Everyone was doing crazy amounts, and like people just go in the bathroom and do it off the back of the toilet. You've seen that in movies and shit too. Yeah, I, I watch drug free films. That's uh, my thing. No, you don't. You're a liar. You love comedies. Most comedies involve drugs. So yeah, you just like, you know, blatantly lied. You just blatantly lied. It's like half baked or something. You're hiding. Shut it. up. No, those sort of things. Stop lying. I'm not lying. You've watched movies with drugs. All the best movies have drugs in them. No, they, well, not like not like you have to be on <laughs> drugs to watch pretty much every crime drama. See, I don't watch those. Those are the best movies. Not watch movies. Well, you know what? Maybe you kill yourself. Think about that as an option. Think about murdering yourself as an option. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not down for that. Well, Will was bananas. He had the shittiest tattoos too. Literally, just, and I told you, he used all he calls me a pedophile, and I didn't know why. And it was he says you have pedophile eyebrows. I'm like, I don't know. You're the one who's been in prison, mm-hmm. so I guess you would know. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that dude was constantly high, like constantly high. He was like that. He was like hey, smoking weed's fine, but he was like that bad type of smoking weed where he was just like, unless I smoke weed, unless I get high, at, like that's my normal. It's like, all right, well, that's when it's a problem. Like, yeah, when you're there's like, a, I'm, there's a line, there's a limit. Oh, it's just like if you have to be high all day and like you getting high is your normal. It's like, okay, well then, yeah, that's a problem. Like that's clearly a problem. If you're not, if you don't feel comfortable, Being you know, it's yourself. the same. Th- yeah, well, I mean, it's the same thing with caffeine. That's like why it's like I, pro- I, I sometimes go mornings without caffeine, but that's like the problem when people are like, I'm not myself until I after I have my first cup of coffee in the morning. It's like, oh, it's because you have an addiction to caffeine. Yeah. Like that's, an, that's an addiction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're not able to be yourself without caffeine, addiction. 
What if we lived in a world without caffeine? Um, there'd be a lot less successful people out there and a lot more people doing cocaine. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably what would happen. Most of these people that wake up and just do coffee in the morning, they'd probably just be doing cocaine. They wouldn't just not live without it, you know? That's what caffeine is. It's morning cocaine. I mean, I don't know. People no drink caffeine all day. It's it's a, it's a milder form of uh, cocaine is what I would say, yeah. I mean, do it. it's a stimulant. It's like a, it's an upper, you know, it gets cocaine, you know, bumps you up. But cocaine is definitely way stronger than caffeine, dude. <laughs> like it's definitely yeah. way stronger. Like dude, there's levels of this shit, dude. I'm Meek Millen over here. There's fucking levels of this shit. <laughs> Sick rap reference. Who knew the guy in a Slayer shirt was gonna make a good rap reference? This guy knows music, as we said last week. That's how I dress. That's what I know. That's who I am. Now let it go. I don't know. <laughs> I actually contemplated uh, going to Hot Topic because there's a lot of shirts there I should have bought. It's sick. It's a sick store. There, there's it's a lot of good. So stuff. I'm 25 yeah. and I still I'll still sh- Hot Topics my store. <laughs> you stand yeah. Hot Topic. Yeah. Yeah. 25, dude. Hot Topic sick. Like, <laughs> what they just have band tees. That's the only place you can go that, has, and not just band tees, but like good band tees. Like there's a fucking bunch of gorilla shirts in there, you know? Yeah. It's one of my favorite bands. Even, even if I don't, favorite. even if I don't go physically to Hot Topic, I'll order off Hot Topic online. It's the Just best all- place to go for band T-shirts. It's the best non like one stop place to buy band T-shirts. As a man who owns the whole collection of them, the only way I'm going to get them is if I order them offline off Hot Topic or basically I'm at the concert. It's just like a punk type of. It's like a punk. A punk it's store a store at the mall. Punk, 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 punk yeah. goth. Yeah, punk goth. Yeah, punk, yeah. Some of it's a little cheesy. It's it's a little. It's got the emo too. I'm not a big fan of that, but that's definitely part of it. It's all that kind of rolled up into one. Yeah. Cool store, dude. It's got fucking wallets <laughs> with chains on them in there. <laughs> <laughs> they have masks. You know, I do. I, I might become a chain wallet guy. I might bring this all full flux. I might as well at this that's point. The, that's that's the. the the final stone for Thanos, the infinity. Yeah, it's the, uh, no, you got no. the vest, sunglasses. No, I need the pierce chain lip. wallet, pierce lip. Is the that. pierce lip and the chain wallet that's connected to my pierce lip. <laughs> <laughs> that, that completes the transformation. Yeah, for sure, dude. That, maybe a hat. A hat might help. What hat would you wear? Is it the, uh, I already ordered it. I already ordered it. <laughs> Was that a setup to that? You're like, well, maybe a hand. And then you're, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I heard it. Uh, I bought the. Well, I, I didn't buy like a bunch. Of, I just bought. I've always wanted the infamous suicidal tendencies hat, where it says suicidal tendencies on the top, and then on the underbrim it just says suicidal. <laughs> Fucking love that <laughs> hat. Yeah, I've always. Why would wanted you wear that? Because it's a great band. People, but people who wouldn't know that would be like, oh my god, is that like a cry for help? I, I don't care. It just says that. No, if anything, they're like, well, that guy's probably going to say something offensive, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> so if, any, if anything, my words are just finally matching more of my apparel. <laughs> yeah, we got to make some merch. We, are, we only have the mugs, the cups. And it's technically not merch because no one can buy it. Yeah. It's, more, it's more just keepsakes through, for us. Give me it through Christmas. Yeah, we just have a got to expand. Well, here's the thing. Once we average over 100 views um, on YouTube or over 100 views on uh, all platform, like over 200 views on all platforms on average, um, then we can talk about merch. We did it for a minute. It was like we had a hot streak yeah. where we were like we were getting over 200 views on all platforms for like five weeks in a row. And then I think I said something bad because it just plummeted. <laughs> we were doing hot for a second we were crushing the podcast game at least compared to where we are now we were doing so much better or maybe he's just you know with, with covid things open back up and people are like you know i'm not gonna sit inside COVID, and two guys talk that is true i mean things were opened up but they, we didn't have the uh full uh hourly it was still they were open but everything was still closing at 11 when we were hitting our stride so yeah and then no. the vac the vaccine wasn't out yet too these are all things we should give ourselves a break about, right? After this right. episode's recorded, you're gonna be like, "Well, you, you, you should have brought that up." 
Oh, I'm going to get a, a neck tattoo. That's also next. Get one right here. Just a, a really. Oh, fuck God. <laughs> Why don't you get like a snake or like a scorpion? I get, a so, no, get something. Oh, dude, that'd be so crazy. I just have a scorpion on my neck now. What about yeah. um, as above, so below? Like some satanic <laughs> shit. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm not. I mean, like. Be. Who has. Who has like a. It's a Machine Gun Kelly and Pete Davis have all those tattoos. I mean, or the hundred of other guys from metal that did it way before <laughs> them. You <laughs> fucking loser that those are your references. They're the most relevant. Pretty much like all these dudes from metal that have completely tattooed bodies have neck tattoos. And then you went to the just the biggest losers that have neck tattoos. <laughs> just the yeah, two losers. biggest losers. Well, I mean, technically, from what sense? From uh, a Pete okay. Davidson's a successful comedian. That's what that's what dating Megan Fox. So that yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, successful. okay. So now now we gauge people off of economic value and how hot their girlfriend is. Wow, Evan, very progressive <laughs> of you. Very I'm progressive. Saying, of I don't. <laughs> I don't gauge loser off of success. I gauge loser off of how fucking cool you are, and they're not fucking cool in my opinion. <laughs> You don't think anybody is cool except yourself. That's, that's not Ooh. true. That's not, I'm, I've am i also graded on so many times. I don't think I'm cool. I, I've made this argument on the podcast several times. I'm not cool. Not, not cool. cool. I only wear sunglasses indoors. I because only it's vest. dumb. I only wear a hat. I only ordered a shame wallet that will connect to my. I, did, I didn't order a shame wallet. I'm not cool. <laughs> I didn't order. I'm not cool. I've made this argument several hundred times. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's stupid. This is hilarious. If you see that, how can you take me serious? <laughs> it's more <laughs> hilarious when you open the beer, when you hold the beer up. Like, oh, oh, this, this is fucking, this is retarded. Like, how can you ever <laughs> take this person serious? If I was like, now let me tell you about foreign affairs. And you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. You fucking suck. Yeah, dude. You, have, you, have an air, you have an air conditioner by your window. I don't want to hear from you. I have an air conditioner that you put in the window. Like, it's not, you're like, <laughs> it's not, it's not central air. Like, this yeah. guy, this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I haven't talked about something while I open a beer. So, uh, all right. Well, that's over. NFL. <laughs> NFL started again. I thought of a new TV show. What? You want to hear it? It's just a dumb pun. No. You want to hear my TV show? Yeah. You want to take a guess at what kind of TV show it is first? <laughs> Something with metal. Uh, actually, you pitch what a TV show I come up with is. I want to hear this. I'm going to let you riff for a second. Uh, a bunch of guy. It's a bunch of guys in metal, like wearing metal, like what you look like right now. Mm -hmm. And they do comedy. Mm -hmm. It's a stand-up show, and it's going to be called Metal Comedy. <laughs> I mean, you're not far off. Uh, <laughs> now you know you're way up far off. Okay, so the show I want to pitch is this. Ready, Evan? Give me a drum roll, please. My drum roll. Taliban girls gone wild. Oh my god. It's all right. Listen. All right. You remember the old girls gone wild, correct? It's like yeah. that. What, what is this? 2004? It's like that, except instead of them like showing their teddies and stuff, we just have them like fucking reading books and uh, driving cars and, um, you know, giving consent for sex. And it's just girls going wild. It'd be wild. It's fucking crazy. It's like them in like the hotel room, dude, and just like take it off and they just take the hijab off and like flick their hair around. Where did you think of this? How? Like, like Why? About, when? about two minutes ago. I thought about it two minutes ago. <laughs> During the recording? Yes. Um, I don't know why. It's something I said reminded me of girls going wild. And then I was like, Taliban girls going wild. Dude, that'd be sick. Here's the best part about the show, right? Yeah. It could seem xenophobic, correct? I mean, it sounds like it. But it's also pro-feminist. That's the moral <laughs> dilemma. That's the moral dilemma, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Tell me which side you're on, white woman. <laughs> <laughs> white woman who will get angry at this bit. What side are you on? You are not about Taliban girls going wild? 
Oh, you want them to go tamed? You want them to not read? Is that what you're saying, white woman? Is that what you're saying? It, what am I saying? It's so wrong. And also, it kind of would probably sell because you know these Taliban Taliban guys are saying this during the day, but they probably like get off at the taboo of a girl reading. They're like, oh fuck yeah, dude, fucking read that book, you fucking whore. Oh shit, dude, you dirty fucking slut driving a car. You're not supposed to be driving cars. <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> oh, you take that hijab, let that hair down. Oh, you whore, you whore, let that hair down. I think I might do that as a bit on stage. Then you'll be. I mean, it's gotta be. F- <laughs> oh, if I flesh that out, come on, that's a good bit. Taliban girls gone wild. That's I a, think there'd be comics that would like it. That's a progressive bit. I dare anyone. It's current. It's top. It's current. It's topical, and it's fucking progressive. I'm so good at coming up with premises for jokes. When our audience goes see you do stand up live, they're gonna be like. I heard that on the podcast. I just I just did the com- <laughs> I just did the comedy rumble. Oh, how was that? Uh, my set went really well, uh, and then I didn't make it in the final four. Mm. Mm. Weird. I saw that. Mm, weird. Weird, right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Know. I didn't watch anyone else's set. Probably everyone who made it to the final four was did better than me. Like I, I don't know. Like I had a really good set. That's why I was like. That's why I was waiting when they were announcing it. Like because. I'm very hypercritical myself. If I never, like, if I had, like, messed up in my set or didn't think my set went that good, but my set went, I crushed. Like, I fucking crushed for my set. So I'm like, oh, dude, I'm, there's a really good chance I should be in the final four. But I also didn't listen to anyone else's set because the way the green room was set up and most people were just chilling outside because it's like uh, at one night stands very long hallway. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking in the final four. And then my name didn't get announced. I'm like, hmm, all right, that fucking sucks, I guess, but whatever. Like, I wasn't going to be bitter about I wasn't going to be bitter about it. I had a good set. I mean, I, I didn't embarrass myself. I was in front of a packed crowd. I'm like, whatever, fun time. <laughs> but then I got, after the show ended, I had three separate audience members walk up to me and tell me that I was robbed and should have won. And then that's why I was like, hmm, okay, all right. Maybe I was robbed a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I was robbed. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You- you win the Annette Pitt Comedy Rumble. I, I win it every time. I, I don't I don't think it's robbed. But also like it's like this part of the knowing your audience. I, I'm not gonna be like this bitter guy's like, oh it's fucking robbed, but you know that all that meant. It was still nice hearing those people say that because I'm like, yeah. yeah, you're the cult following I'm looking for. Like yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I was your favorite. Did He's, you tell about our podcast? Nah, I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's three listeners we lost. I was. I should have or didn't have. It was more technically in three because some of them were couples. But yeah, oh, two of them were couples. Like, but like, and I was like, I wasn't even standing by the end at exit. Like as they walked up to me, like and one girl was pissed. They, they went to the, the Dude, green like, room. One, one girl was pissed. Like she was actually like up. She talked shit about that comic. I'm like, dude, don't. No, they're really funny. Like they're actually really funny. Like don't do that. Like <laughs> I think they're funny, but I appreciate what you're saying. But I also think whoever you're talking shit about is funny. Like. Yeah, but uh, Ella won it, and she crushes you every time I see her. She's great. So yeah, she's one of the best guys. No, but I mean, like, state. no shame losing to her. Like, no shame. I didn't even come to the final four. No shame losing to her. Yeah, she her, won in the. There run. was there was someone in the final four that I was ashamed of. <laughs> that I won't say their name, okay? <laughs> but I was like, really fucking them. Like, there's one. There's one in the final four. Where I was like, fucking them, really? Okay, all right. It was a yes. white dude. Oh shit! I just narrowed it down. There was only one white dude in the final four. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh well. There, what? There was thirty comics. It's never gonna get back to him. Yeah, there's thirty comics. No. Yeah. So. But it was great. It was fun, dude. I made best friends with the guy, like one of the comics there. Do you know fucking Jimmy Sopranano? Sopranano. Sopranano. I think I know. Some Italian, I've heard dude. of him. I, I don't think we've we've met like that. Dude, that guy is the tits. I fucking love that guy. We just I literally, I don't know what, I was like getting in line for a drink. And then he, I like, is it earlier in the night? I heard someone talking about Dak Shepard. And then like, it hit me like in like my later mind. I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm like, ah, oh, man. I remember like back in the day, like people used to always say I looked like Dak Shepard when I was doing comedy. I'd even sometimes get introduced as like Dak Shepard's lookalike. I'm like, that fucking sucks, right? So I'm in line, like getting a drink, and then he's like, "Hey, what's your name, by the way?" I'm like, "Oh, Drew." And he goes, "You know, man, you know, what you look like a lot." I'm like, "Don't you fucking dare say Dax Shepard." And he's, like, he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "I think that's why I was talking about Dax Shepard earlier." And then I started talking about that. 
fucking great dude. We hit it off. I think I called him a commie for ordering a Labatt or something like that. And we were fucking <laughs> laughing, dude. So much like we laughed so much that night together that like later in the night when he was leaving, like I was, we were saying goodbye. I'm like, Jimmy, are we like g- really good friends right now? He's like, yes, yes, we are. He's like, add me on Facebook. I'm like, phone's broken. He's like, all right, I'll pull you up. He's like, at, search it for me. And then I search him on my phone. I go, oh shit, we're already friends on Facebook. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know that comedy thing where you just can yeah. be friends with you people you've get. never met and i was like dude oh we're fucking those douchebags i'm like i don't know who friend requested who but we've probably been friends for two years and we just met like because <laughs> you just become about friends with other well you just become when you do comedy you just become friends with comics you've never even met before on facebook it's like, yeah, I, have it's 100, like I have a, i have 205 mutual friends with you what, that's what I'm, saying. I'm like i'm sending requests because they've probably heard of me and i, I clearly have heard of them I normally don't ever send requests to people I've never met before unless sometimes I get like, there's a weird time. Like sometimes I get, if I'm hammered and I'm on Facebook, I'll just start hitting like on the people you may know. I'm like fucking them, 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 them. <laughs> I want more friends. Damn it. <laughs> two mutual friends or like a bot or something. <laughs> I have no, no, it's usually like it, it just anyone I have like a shit ton of friends with. I'll just start like clicking or if I've heard their name, like in stand up, I'll be like, I've heard, I've seen your name on a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I probably was on that same line. We just never talked at all. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's weird. Have you also ever done shows with people that you never talked to and then you finally meet them? Like, and then, like, you never talked to them on the lineup and then, like, you know, like six months later happened or a year and you're like, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Like, actually, I think we did like a show together like a year ago. We just, you just like, never, that's like you, just, you just never talked to me and you're like, ah, fuck, that sounds about right. <laughs> that's what I get a lot now with interactions with comics that I haven't seen in a long time. They're like, I'll be like, hey, how's it going? So, so they're like, have we met? Yeah. Yes. Uh, like, several yeah, uh, with you, I bet you get the one where you're like, you're like, yeah, we've met several times. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, so we did a show in this bar on September 13th, 2019. Yes, I remember that. And he's like, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Your autism just kicks in. Yeah. Dude, but also you were the fourth, you were the fourth comic on the lineup. I bombed three spots after you. Yes. <laughs> That's Some great. Shit like that. <clears throat> Also, some GR comics there. They're cool, like Joe Elder and fucking Alex Potowski. I fucking was shooting the shit with them. And then Alex is going to another bar afterwards. I was like, oh, fuck, dude, I want to meet you at this bar. Me and Alex fucking kicked it off, dude. We were just talking about all out that just happened. We were talking about the wrestling pay per view. So that was chill, you know. I see he might have been the one I called a commie for ordering a Labatt. I don't know. <laughs> I was literally in line. Someone was like, I, I kind of a Labatt blue. I'm like, oh, you're not getting American beer? You fucking commie. Like, <laughs> and, yeah. um, so he went to another bar, and I think I met him there. And then get this, this out, like get the fucking odds. The fucking um, we go to this other bar, and I'm sitting, I'm looking around, and I go, "Holy shit, Alex! Look who's sitting over at that table!" Fucking Mike Jeter sitting at a table at this other bar we went to. He wasn't part of the show. We went to a bar just down the street, and fucking Mike Jeter just happened to be there. Evan, explain who Mike Jeter is for fucking listeners who don't know. Oh, he's a Detroit comic who's been a headliner. He's a headliner. Very, su- very successful. Very successful. He's been on uh, Comedy Central. Uh, been, Ke- Hart, Kevin Hart's Heart of the City. Heart of the he City, yeah. The Detroit episode with a bunch of other great comments. One of them, Jeff Horse. Who- Jeff Horse, he was one, and Jeff's great, dude. Fucking love Jeff. Also, Jeff's like also, like, he's one of the only people I've, and Mike is really nice, but Mike is not as um, talkative as Jeff. Dude, Jeff is like Jeff remembers your name. Like Jeff, I've I've booked Jeff on multiple shows. Good back when I used to run shows. Jeff Horse, not only a hysterical comic, has had been on TV because tw- he did the fucking Next Level with Kevin Hart too. Yeah, he did like a half hour on Comedy Central. Yeah, not only that, but also dude, like one of the fucking nicest guys you'll ever I've ever met in stand up. Like legit, one of the nicest dudes. Yeah, like he's done me favors of just like I've shown up to a comedy show that I even know he was at and he would get up out of his seat and shake my hands and people went, Jeff Horse stood up by, he's like, I don't know who you are, but Jeff Horse came and shook your hand. That must mean you're important. I was like, no, it doesn't mean that at all, but thank God, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Like, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, cool dudes, but Mike Jeter was there, so I fucking, I was like, I was like, oh, should I go fuck it? I'm like, I want to go talk to him, but he was like at it clearly at dinner with like his like significant other and another couple i'm like i don't want to just walk up dressed like how i dressed kind of drunk like my dear you fucking remember me dude? like because I, I haven't <laughs> seen him in like a year and a half i thought i saw he was headlining the club 
one night stands that weekend. Yeah, the weekend. Oh, he's probably yeah, he's, he's probably doing Saturday night. Yeah, I think so. That would make sense. I, I like, saw that somewhere. Because I mean, you would probably say the biggest com- actually, he's probably the biggest comic that lives in Michigan, at least success wise. Well, Jeff Heffron technically lives in Michigan, but he's not part of the local scene at all. Yeah. Right, because Jeff Heffron technically he won last com- he won the first season of last comic saying technically lives in Michigan, but you'll never see him at a Michigan show. Mike Jeter's still like is the biggest comic in Michigan that's still part of the scene. Is that yeah. a fair statement to say? Yeah, yeah. Because I booked him before way back in the day in Bay City. I mean, he's like, he's a funny dude, nice nice guy, but he didn't. I don't, I, I it took him. I don't know if he even really remembered me when I did eventually say I, I was like smoking a cigarette outside when he was leaving. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I was gonna do. It. I'm like, oh, Mike, do you remember me? Yeah, like the fucking I booked you for a show back in Bay City. He was like, yeah, I remember you. And I don't know if he actually did. He <laughs> might he might have said did he, he remembered say, me. Did, you know he mean? Say, did he say I haven't true? I well, I don't remember because I was drunk. Okay, if he said your first name, you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. I know he did, but I don't know if I said my name before then. Do you know uh, what I, gotcha. I know he said my name, but I don't know if I introduced myself. I don't remember either way. <laughs> like, I don't Moral really story remember. is, I was too drunk to interact with, with no, him. No, I, I ended up talking to him for like five minutes outside. Okay. I, I fucking, at least, if he didn't remember me, he knew I was a comic at that point. So either way, I don't know if he remembered me or not, because I'm not going to suck my dick. Like, and also, what a weird, humble brag. That'd be like, oh, fucking Mike Jeter knows who I am. Like, that's as if that means something to anybody. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I don't know. Like, again, I hadn't seen him, I mean, at least a year and a half, two years. I mean, it was way before. It was it was at least six months before COVID. So, no, it's got to have been way longer. It was like, I probably hadn't, I haven't seen him since 2019. Like deep, like early 2019 was probably the last time I saw. Him. Yeah, COVID kind of fucked everything up. Like it's just yeah. kind of weird seeing comics you've been into since before COVID, and you kind of like have to introduce, reintroduce yourself, and try yeah. to create another connection. Well, also, it's, it's not working that well. It's also hard when you're not part of any one scene like me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jumper, dude. I'm a lone wolf. I fucking, I don't have no click. I roll my own, you know. Yeah, but. You're one of the comics, I think, in the state that, you know, visits different scenes. Like, you go to a different scene to know who you are. Yeah, I, I've, I'm one of the most diverse portfolio. I would probably say I'm probably the most diverse you're traveling the, portfolios yeah, in you're, stand-up you're and Michigan. I, more than anybody, I think, at this yeah. point. Um, but, the, but it still means that I'm not around one scene enough where I'm, like, well-connected. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a staple of any scene. By any means, not even in a good way or a bad way. Like I'm just not a consistent person that you'll see on a regular basis in any of the scenes in Michigan. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. What do you mean you? Hey, you're still getting. Ass? I said you're still getting out there though. Yeah, no, I'm just saying those. Like you know, like I mean, you know how scenes work. It's like yeah. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad. Eventually, like you're just kind of part of the scene if you do enough shows and you just hang out enough because a lot of it's just built off friendship. Like, oh, I hang out, yeah. I see you, like you know, five six times a week. I don't have that with any scene. Like, I'm not a part of any scene. I'm the fucking lone wolf. I'm the lone wolf of Michigan comedy. <laughs> I would laugh if you just did a set. We had like wolf ears. You're like, I'm the lone wolf. I'm the lone wolf. Sometimes people think I'm from Saga Talk. <laughs> <laughs> You have like a, a costume, dude. That happens a lot when you go to the west side of the state. They always forget I'm from Saga. They just think I'm from Saga Talk because they can't believe anyone would drive that much to do stand up comedy. It, it's the city, I think, is called Saga Talk, so, whatever. But people think that and says Saga because that's close by, that's like a 30 minute yeah, drive, like 30 minutes from Grand Rapids. So yeah, so they think I'm from there instead of thinking I actually drive over two hours to their show. <laughs> I have realized I am fucking bananas to uh, for the amount I do. I mean, for someone who doesn't get paid a lot, I do more traveling than anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you also have the respect factor. People are like, "Oh, you're driving two hours for my the show." Like, that's, I don't that's think most awesome. people. I don't think most people realize they are because they think I'm from Saga Duck or some shit like that. You know, <laughs> like. They think I'm only driving a hop. That's what you gotta like, explain it to them. You gotta like, from dude, the literal thumb. Dude, I'm literally like, dude, I'm fucking after like you guys know how this show ends, and then you got like a 10 minute drive home. I'm not getting home until when this bar would close, and I'm not leaving <laughs> at closing. Right. Be home at like three or four in the morning. And then I'm gonna wake up and go to work tomorrow morning. It's bananas. 
it's, remember, it's like, actually it's not bananas it's fucking stupid i need to change some shit up that's why I'm, that's why i'm <laughs> buckling down i'm saving money i'm i'm get fucking moving dude i can't keep doing this it's, it's insane it's not just insane it's ill-advised and stupid i would probably i would just save money if i moved the amount i realized i was spending hundreds of dollars a month on gas it's retarded yeah it was retarded like just mo- even if my rent was a hundred dollars more, I'd be still saving money on fucking gas. Yeah, I remember when I was nineteen, I was driving back at, from Kalamazoo, and I left in Kalamazoo at like midnight. Dude, and I called my dad. And I'm like, I'm gonna be home in like three hours. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, and I was there's was a point I was doing like fucking five, six Kalamazoo, show, Kalamazoo shows a month. Cause that was like Insane. that's three hours, <laughs> three hour drive there no, and back. No, like two it's, and it's half, two and a half, so it's like a five hour drive there and back. So I was driving thirty hours, or about 25, 30 hours a month was spent just driving to Kalamazoo and back. Dude, uh, it's insane. It was insane what I was doing before COVID just to get stage time. Cause it would just give me a lot of stage time. Like fucking, I was cool with the guys there, so a lot of them would end up giving me more time than like you know than usual because they knew how long i was driving so it felt worth it but dude my god was it exhausting there's nights i was falling asleep behind the wheel dude like i could have died i remember like slap i was like having like hitting the rumble strip and just slapping myself in the face to try not fucking die the things you do for comedy <laughs> <laughs> it was just like if someone's gonna clip that part you're like dude i, I'm a, I was falling asleep at the wheel I almost died and it's just like you drinking a beer and sunglasses <laughs> I mean, I, I almost done multiple times. I think that happened like two or three times where it's like I was struggling so hard to stay awake on my ride home. I think it's only happened like once to me for common. That was the night I was driving back for common. I had to stop at like a rest stop and sleep for like a half hour. See, what I would do is I'd stop at a rest stop and stick a <clears throat> fucking fist in my ass. I'd slowly work my fist in my ass. That'll wake you up. <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll give you a good old red eye, dude. It'll pop you up. That's like doing fucking all the cocaine. You're like, woo, all right, let's fucking go, dude. I'm up now. My asshole thing, has been punctured. The thing I do is when I go to shows, I don't drink alcohol. I just drink like a Coke or something. Well, I mean, some of the, I mean, like all the shows, I wasn't getting hammered because when you have a long drive, I don't try yeah. to get, I'm not like getting fucking drunk. It's just, I work all day. You know, I had to wake up early in the morning to work all day, then go drive to a show, and then I'm driving back, and it's like, dude, like I wake up at fucking. I was waking up at that point. I was waking up at like seven in the morning. So yeah, I think it's like it's now like midnight. I'm driving back two and a half hours at night work, and I work manual labor, and I probably and I was right. doing so many shows at the time. I was like probably only got like three to four hours of sleep the night before, and then like, well, it was, dude, I was like, I, I it's I look back at like pre COVID of what how hard I was working. And how little I got out of it, and it was downright retarded. <laughs> like it made it, I should have moved. Okay, it goes back to it's like let's say I spent hundreds of dollars on rent or on gas a month doing stand up back when I was just hitting it hard, like doing all the mics. Like you know, I was doing like you know, I was doing anywhere from like four to five mics a week, but I had to drive at least an hour and a half to all like hour and a half was the closest one, right? Yeah. So you take all the gas money I was fucking spending doing that hundreds of dollars in gas so let's say oh well your rent's expensive if you move to a bigger city all right was it yeah you know, like 400 more dollars than what i'm spending right now okay so it's about the same as much if i get rid of the gas and then i can i'm just like five i'm like 10 minutes away from the show 20 minutes away from show and then on top of that i get all the hours of my life back that i spent driving to those shows which is value <laughs> within itself right so oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's just stupid. I gotta move somewhere else. That's the plan. Saving up money. I'm thinking I want to do before winter, but at the end of this point, it kind of almost seems smart, smart to at least wait till after Christmas. I work a shit ton of extra hours during Christmas time. Bank some extra dough, you know. Yeah. Then skedaddle. Fuck you, Michigan. Is that I love Michigan. I wouldn't say I love it. I mean, it's my home. I'll always be from here. It'll always be part of me. But no, you I, won't. If you leave, we'll ban you from the state. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll always be part of me. But I, I think I'm at the point where I resent it. It's not even Michigan. It's more me. Does that make sense? 
Like Michigan doesn't suck, just me being. All right, now, 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 now you're super metal. That's such a metal thing. It's not. About, it's not about the community or anything. It's about me. Yeah, no, I think that's just me being, you know, like self aware and also not putting out my problems, like projecting my problems onto the state. I'm just saying, it's not necessarily Michigan. It's just me not wanting to be here, like me not wanting to be in Michigan. That doesn't mean Michigan sucks. It just means I don't want to be in Michigan. It sucks. Mi- Michigan. Sucks. <laughs> no, Michigan. I won't say that because I think there's a lot of people that love the whole fucking four seasons and, you know. Great the, Lakes. The just Michigan is essentially just uh, parking lots and trees. That's most of Michigan. It's just oh, empty park. Fun things it's, to do. It's empty parking lot. Yeah, you can go on hikes through trees. That's your fun thing. You can go to Michigan's Adventure. Why would you Great ever part. do that when you could go to either Six Flags or Cedar Point? Because it's farther. <sighs> yeah, because it's better. <laughs> well, this is it's, a new it's not in Michigan because it doesn't suck. <laughs> See, I didn't want to shit on Michigan. I feel like you're making me shit on Michigan. Well, we have great sports. No, no, we don't. Uh, no, I feel like yeah, we have great said, sports teams. Don't have that either. They stink right now, but they're when they're good, they're good. Let me Look, Michigan is fine. It's just other places are better. <laughs> That's it. I'm not. I'm not yeah. saying Michigan's bad. There's just there's places that are way better than this place. Unless you like nature. If nature is your thing. Then this is actually a pretty cool state to live in for nature. If like you just want to go, if you want to do a lot of hiking and just fucking that. Well, also probably like Montana is better for that kind of shit. But also, it's not bad for that. It's a nice balance of like you get a little bit of city life. Um, with uh, you know, I mean, like you can get like your fucking retail shit in while also still having nature. I mean, there's. I mean, we, we are like, one of the we we really do. We're one of the only states that truly has the four seasons. Then we also have the most trees. So if you really like trees, pretty good place yeah. to hang around trees. I'm I'm not a fucking hippie tree hugger who smokes a bunch of pot though. So. So I'm getting I'm skedaddling. <laughs> I'm going. I dude. I'm gonna go fucking move to the cement jungle. That's what I'm gonna do. Where is that? Like New York City? No, just any big city. Just, you know, where instead of having trees and shit, it's just all cement. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You look like a guy who likes cement. New York. Yeah, I know. That's why I wear hard boots, dude. Sound cool hitting <laughs> off the cement. Uh, they either Chicago or New York or Austin, probably. Maybe, maybe Philly. Philly could be cool. In five years, we'll see. You will ditch in that pit for a spot on uh, the Joe Rogan experience. No, I'm already going to ditch this, but I think I'm going to open up my own. Uh, I'm going to start my own podcast uh, called Suds with Buds, hosted by Drew Campbell. And I, I just have a guest on every week, and we just drink beer together. Different beer every week, different guest every week. Okay. Pretty so, good podcast so, idea. Sour ended it. No, no, this will just be my second podcast. Remember when you started your second podcast? You remember when you did that? You for, remember when you were fucking? Remember that? Do you remember that, Judas? What? You oh, don't yeah. remember? You don't remember when you started a second podcast, it's Judas? On hiatus right now. Yeah, I wonder why. But do you remember when you were Judas first? So really, this is fine if I start my own <laughs> podcast. It'll be so much more oh, popular fine. than this one because I won't have you. Probably. My, yeah, because I won't have you as my fucking ball and chain, dude. I'll have guests who actually right. pro because you don't promote the show at all. I'll have guests on that will want to be on the show. You know, you're gonna be like one of the first guests. It's essentially we'll just <laughs> one of the first episodes will just be this show. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a swap cast. It'll just be under a different Swapper. name. Yeah, it'll yeah. be under a different name. Same show. It'll be a Netflix episode 51 and Suds and Buds episode 1. Same exact yeah. clip, yeah. same audio. <laughs> Welcome to a Netflix slash Suds and Buds episode 51. Slash well, one. no, but part of the thing is you have to drink the same beer. What, we so share the same type of beer. Light? No, 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 no. It's a different beer every episode. That's the, that's the Miller niche. <laughs> no, it's a different beer every. I mean, Miller Lite will be one episode. I maybe you should save Miller Lite for you. Yeah, but it'll always be a different one. We will do domestics, but we will also travel into the world of crafts. I'll let I'll probably let the guests choose what they like or like what type, and then based off that. Yeah, I'll do Miller Lite. Is that your favorite? I, I thought, thought I should, actually I would think you'd want to do two hearted. 
I think the pod could go off the rails really quickly if I'm drinking too hard. And- but dude, uh, the podcast was still. I might that one might go an hour and a half at the most still. So you're only gonna have like two. It's not like a, it's not like a get hammered podcast. I mean, I might get on hammered yeah, on some of them. Yeah, you're just chugging like some of them. Six pack de- in the depend- first hour. De- no, it depends on the guests and how hard they want to roll, dude. I'll match their enthusiasm. It's what? It's going to be like a power hour? No, just literally. We just drink the same beer. We might talk about the beer for a little bit, and then it's just a podcast. It's just you got to – it's a niche. It's a stupid niche because I realize a lot of people want a niche for shit, and it's still just a regular podcast. And then the name's – catchier than ours that you can't pronounce i literally told someone about the name and then i i told them the name of my podcast and i had that they wanted to listen to it and then they made me spell it out for them like that's (laughs) that's not a good name for a podcast (laughs) ip that's our new ip would be better ip podcast it would be better and that pit is like i really like uh, most people first off don't know what that word i think we've already talked this most people don't know what that word means or how to spell it like (laughs) That's what makes it unique. I spelt it for them, and then they had to. Then I had to respell it for them because they thought the the p was a b. So I had to spell it for them twice. That's how difficult the name of our show is. <laughs> People are just go on YouTube and search uh, "guy who wears all black and vest talking." Oh, dude, I'll, I'll put that in the tags for the next video. <laughs> <laughs> White guy, vest, black, I, all black shirt, sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. Sick. That's not bad. Bad guy, bad hair. Fat guy in a little coat. Cookie, cookie dough shirt. Cookie dough fucking monster. I was actually going to say, because I bought this shirt a year ago because we were at Buddy's Wedding. That was a year ago yesterday. Oh, Mitch's wedding. Yeah. We went to that wedding. It blows my mind how fast that was. I remember, I, I was remembering you. When they closed the bar, yeah, I was going sick. to the other place, like demanding more beer. You're I like, went. I, I, went, I, I didn't. De- I didn't demand more beer. I went upstairs and bought myself a beer so I could have a <laughs> beer. I wasn't gonna be a rap. I went to that way to get thrashed, dude. I was going through a breakup, like a recent breakup, and I was like, "Fuck this, dude!" Like, I've got a hotel room for a goddamn reason. I'm getting shit faced tonight. It's a wedding. It's my first friend's wedding, like friend my age that I went to high school's wedding. I'm getting juice, dude. And I did. That's all in the first episode, too. The first episode's all about that. Yep. So you go, go back, back listen. listen to episode one of an episode. Think that, I'm pretty sure that was episode one we talked about that, right? Yeah. yeah. Episode one. Look at how much longer my hair is and look how fatter Evan is. It's crazy. The times change so much. I've, I've balded more, too. You can look back. I had better hairline then. You can't stop tell. Me- bull- stop bullying me. I am working on the weight. I just bullied myself. You interrupted me talking shit about my hairline, you fucking yeah, idiot. You call me, call me, uh, look you're fatter. Right yes, you're fatter. Yes. Why don't, instead of you being such a bitch about me making fun of you, why don't you just start laying into me more? You talk shit about my outfit. You didn't see me crying, did you? You wuss. A- Stop being a wuss. You know what? Look I'm how Diane. cool you look right Hi, now. Diane. I'm trying to make your fucking son a man. All right? Look at him. He's finally rebelling. Strike me down, Evan. Shoot at me. Come on. Give me the best you got, you fucking fatty. Come on, nail me with it. Hit me. Nice. Nice lamp. God damn it, you're bad at this shit, dude. Come on, go again. I thought we roasted you, each other last I week. I know, but clearly you're offended. You said stop making fun of me, so I'm letting you, dude. I didn't say make fun of you. I I will, dude, I'll give you stop. the first shot. Look, I'm sticking my chin up. I won't even hit back. You get one free one. One free one. No, I won't even make cover back. Come on, man. You look like uh, John Lennon if he wasn't famous. All right. There you go. See? I mean, not that great, but keep it it up, buddy. Keep it up. (laughs) Make fun of me. I don't care. It's not my style. Maybe I need to stop. My style to uplift my friends and community. Hey, hey. Maybe it's not that I need to stop making fun of you. Maybe you just need to grow more cojones. And uh, start insulting me. <laughs> you ever think of that? You ever think of that as a possibility? That, that's a word I haven't heard in a long, long time. Cajones? Cajones yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a good comedian, so I remember how to think of funny words. 
instead of just you got to think of the funny words. Half of comedy is just funny words. It's not even is this style, man? There's Cone. two. No, it's not even just that. There's two things. There's there's saying things that are funny and saying things funny. Do you understand the difference? Yeah, it's, it's like the comedian versus comic. Essentially, but do both, and that's how you become the great. That's how you become the goat, dude. That's how you become Louis C.K. and masturbate in front of women against their will. That's how you do that. <laughs> hyperbole, guys. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Hyperbolic chamber. Evan's, yeah. uncom- Evan's super uncomfortable now. Yeah, we, we have to bring that up. It's called a fucking joke, Evan. <laughs> You remember those? Remember comedy? Remember laughter? Remember nope. when you remember how you remember, remember you say wild shit even though you don't mean it because it's funny? Remember that? Remember that's what comedy kind of is in a way is you say things that you don't really mean, but because it's funny, it's called jokes. Yeah. Like if you like, yeah, like hey, like imagine hanging out with your mom, right? You're like walking down the street with your mom. And you're walking down the sidewalk and you go, hey mom, look. And then you're standing there and you have your foot over a crack and then you purposely step on it, get it to crack her back, like break your mother, step on a crack, break your mother's back. You don't honestly want to break your fucking mother's back. It's called a joke. And then she would laugh and you would laugh and you go, oh, I was I'm I offended. Broke. My mother has back problems. <laughs> my, my, dad, my mother's back has been broken before. You don't talk about <laughs> it in such ways. <laughs> all right. That, that, Dude, that for a word would be a comment if you Dude, said this. If I could step on a crack and break your mother's back, I'd be skipping down the sidewalk, not even looking where <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> That's a good joke. Mm. Take that. that. That one's for the stage. That one's nah, it's not for the stage. <laughs> I'm not telling to break your mother's back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's your opener. Guess what, guys? Closer. <laughs> and then I do just a fucking shoulder roll, dude. <laughs> sunglasses it'd be hilarious. I hit I hit the joke and I go, DJ hit the music. It's like do the laugh at that. <laughs> do the laugh at <laughs> DJ hit that shit. Oh, do the laugh at that. Do the laugh at that. It's like uh, Bernie Mac. Fuck him. DJ hit that shit. Do the laugh at <laughs> Dude, Y'all I wanna, understand. I'm gonna do this at least one time. I want to fucking say, TJ, hit that shit after I hit a punchline, and just have the song be "Do the Laffy Taffy." <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. Don't have it, have it. <laughs> what a dumb song it is. What a dumb fucking song. I'm oh, saying that for uh, candy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was Evan. <laughs> For, I I couldn't tell if you were frozen or you were just uh, disgusted with me. I was frozen in anger. Like, yeah. <laughs> I w- I'm glad you weren't here right now. If you were here, I would have struck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, physically, I would have just assaulted you. You would have been accosted. <clears throat> Are you scared? Oh. Are you fucking yeah. scared? Stop being scared. Why are you scared? I think I'm going to hit you. I think I'm gonna drive all the way to Lansing and strike you. <laughs> you would. I would like, be surprised. Like a cobra, I'm gonna come in and <laughs> fucking get you, dude. Venomous. That's what my, my new nickname is, Drew the Viper Campbell. I'm fucking, <laughs> so like a, that's such like an amateur wrestling name. I Viper. know, right? You want know you want to know why you're real scared, Evan? You know why you're scared, why? Evan? Do you know why you should be fucking scared? Why? It's time for butt plugs. It's plug times, guys. Let's oh. fucking roll the plugs in. All right. If you listen to us on YouTube, make sure you crush the subscribe button, smash the like button. Hell yeah, dude. Leave a comment. I hope you realize this. Comments and likes, they change the algorithm. It gets more eyes on the product. So just do us a fucking favor, man. You don't even have to fucking say anything. That's right. I've said this before. Just do 50 Fs and hit the like button. Really <laughs> don't give a shit. If, even if you dislike. Fuck, hit the dislike button. That's better than not hitting either of the buttons, actually. It still increases the algorithm because it just means that the crowd's engaging. So please, fucking and yeah, do that shit. Even if you're not listening on YouTube, go to the YouTube and then do that. Do us a favor. It's all free. We're, we're creeping up on 50 hours. of Actually, you're probably over 50. This is the 49th episode. If you take yeah. the run over time, it's, it's probably well over 50 hours of content that we've given you for free. We haven't made a fucking dime off of this shit. 
So why not fucking spread the love? And by spreading the love the most, you could share this. You could share this on your social media. That would be great. You'd share this on your social media. Or if you're not going to do that, all of your social media, by the way, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, fucking Snapchat, Grinder, Tinder. Put it in your bio. Say, yo, if you don't like this fucking podcast, I won't fuck you. Like, do that. That would be sick. Um, so if, if you're not going to do that, also, you know, share it by word of mouth. You had a family get together. It's Thanksgiving's coming up, right? It's a couple months away. <laughs> you're, at, you're at Thanksgiving. They said, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the Inep podcast. Like, what's that? Like, oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> and then you send them, and then you tell them about us. Do that shit, you know? You know, be yeah. grateful. I, I think if you're a lonely person, we have supplied you with multiple hours of, uh, you know, feeling not alone, which, you know, us lonely people know. That's, that's a very nice thing to do. <laughs> well, this podcast is like not being alone. Do you want to be alone? Is that what you want? I don't think you want to be alone. That's why you listen to the podcast. Maybe share the podcast, you know, tomato, tomorrow. Be fair. If you listen to this on Spotify, make sure you hit follow. Download all the fucking episodes. You download all of them. Even if you're not going to listen to them on Spotify, download all of them. These stupid fucking robots don't know, dude. These stupid robots don't know. If you're download st- and delete. Yeah. And if you're doing this on Stitcher, do the same thing, man. Hit follow. Download all the episodes. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, if you're listening on the Apple Podcasts, make sure to give us a five-star ring and write us a little bit of a review. That shit matters. And we are going to do that next episode. I was going to say, next, this episode, is a, this is next episode. Next episode is official. This is your last week. Get your Apple Podcast reviews. We're reading all of them off. We're reading all of them off if you want to ask questions on them. But this is the time for the podcast review on Apple. We're going to do it. It's almost a year. It's essentially 51 weeks. We're doing 50 weeks. Well, 51 weeks technically because we took a week off. But we'll say 50 weeks of review, dude. We're going <laughs> to read all of these motherfuckers. Unless it's an embarrassing low amount. There's like only four of them. We're not going to read them. We're not going <laughs> to. We're not going to read four and just be like, ah, I guess we're done. Like, I don't know. There's only four of them. That'll make us look bad. We need some more reviews. So do it. Yeah. Do the Apple Podcast review. Even if you don't listen to us on Apple Pods, sign up for Apple Pods so you do the Apple Podcast review. This is called give and take, dude. This is called engaging. We want to engage you guys. If not, um, we're also if you're not going to do that um, for the year, the year special, which I think is what two weeks 52. away, 50, 51, wasn't it? Yeah. Fifty two, fifty one or fifty two. I don't know which one yet. Um, if you want to start um, submitting questions, you can submit your questions to a netpit at facebook.com. You can like our page and send a message there, or you can email us at netpit at gmail.com because 52, our year review will be a full fan engagement episode. It will be based completely <laughs> off of you guys. Hopefully you guys engage us enough for us to do that. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll just fucking probably celebrate. Maybe have a guest on. I have no idea. We didn't really plan this out that well, but it's, it's creeping up. It's almost one year of a net pit. That's That's exciting. Lots changed in our lives. Yep. And besides that, you can follow us on Twitter at netpit.com. And uh, Evan, go ahead and do your plugs, bitch. You can follow me on Twitter at Saul7 and on Instagram at Saul7. On uh, September 23rd, I'll be on at Rocky's Bar and Grill in Grand Rapids doing a show. Sick. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Also, sorry if anyone wanted to go see me open uh, for Jeff Leeson. The show got canceled because he didn't sell any tickets. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, he was his pre-sale tickets were at zero, so uh, he decided to cancel, so it didn't happen. He, they were trying to get me to fucking sell more tickets for him. And at one point, I'm like, well, if I'm going to be the one, if he, can't, if he can't sell tickets and you want me to be the one to sell tickets, then I should just be the guy headlining making $500. This is fucking stupid. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell. I even told him, like, fucking, if I'm the guy who's the draw, then pay me the money. Like, that's fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to argue with someone over it. I don't know if I'm going to perform for that venue again because I was a little, I don't know. I, I stuck my wheels on the ground, dude. I said, I know what I'm worth. If this guy can't draw and I'm going to be the draw, why the fuck is this guy making the money? <laughs> is that not a fair point though is that not yeah, a fair no, fucking that, point fair. to make it's good to so, you I, I, yeah, so i didn't i just like i'm not promoting it <laughs> like, i'm not promoting this i mean i promoted it on the podcast but i mean like i didn't do any like my social media scrounging i could have done dude like i could have brought a lot of people off i really put the fucking work in promoting it but 
Oh, well, I guess it's been the podcast. Suck our dicks and shit. Peace. Peace, bitches.